All right, so let's talk about uh, talk about projectile problems. Talk about this problem number one. It's gonna be on the final exam. Um, <clears throat> that's gonna be a projectile. Go back and look. You've got a lot of problems to look at. We have problems in our notes, problems for homework. There's a problem on the test one, test one review. Uh, in fact, I've got a note to look at um, the basketball problem because <clears throat> it's kind of a interesting or, or a, not not a tough one, but um, I've got a basketball problem on test one review video. So I don't think I w I didn't go over this in class. I didn't. Um, um, I just posted this as a video on Canvas. Um, but that was one uh, I've got a note to, to look at because it it goes from A to C then. A to B. Uh, some of those problems, um, if you try to go from one point to another point, you might have three unknowns, might have too many unknowns. Um, but you say, oh, well, let me go from A to C. Let, let, then I can find um, the V initial or something, and then I can take that V initial and go from A to B or, you know, A to B, then A to C. So uh, I've got to look at that basketball problem uh, from that test. Uh, but for all of those problems, uh, we break it up into x and break it up into y. So the acceleration in x equal to zero, acceleration in y equal to down 9.81 um, meters per second squared. Um, now I didn't do it for this problem, but a lot of times I might I might say, hey, what is the speed right there at the end? What is the speed right there at the end? Uh, how to find the final speed, right? After you've done the problem, so you need to go ahead and do do the problem right here. First of all, you know, let's say I'm, I'm launching something. and say, hey, what is the final speed right here? First of all, I'm talking before it hits the ground. Don't tell me the final speed is zero. No, this is before it hits the ground. Uh, before it has a collision. We can't do the projectile equations after this collision. So we're talking about before this collision, what's the final speed? Well, do the whole problem and then find the final x velocity, vf equals vi plus at. Find the final y velocity, vf vi plus at. Uh, and then once you get the final y and final x, square them, take the square root to find the final speed uh, if you want the final magnitude. So, you know, generally we're using th this equation right here, uh, but if we want to know the final speed, then after you do the first part of the problem, then you got to use this equation right here to find the final x and final y. Don't forget about the x velocity too. Sorry, this is not a t squared. Vi plus at. Uh, don't forget about the final x don't just tell me the final y speed. I need y and x. Square them. Take the square root um, to find that. So um, um, look in here. A few notes. Quadratic formula. Uh, don't forget you quadratic. Um, if you've got a t squared and a t and a constant in this equation over here, you know, then... Use a quadratic formula to find t, but don't use a quad. Don't overcomplicate it. Okay, don't use quadratic formula when you don't have to. For example, many of these problems right here, some of these problems, I should say, uh, if if I if I plug this in over here, then this t cancels out with that t, and so I I just have a t squared, and then a number. So that that doesn't need the quadratic formula right t squared is equal to something 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 just take the square root you know to find t uh, so use quadratic formula know the quadratic formula and use it when you have to uh, don't use it when you don't so so you got a lot of problems don't memorize these problems just know the process what are you going to do when you see that um, projectile problem on the test you're going to break it up into X and Y. You're going to be real careful. What point am I starting? What point am I ending? What are you calling positive? Um, and which, use this equation. This is a great equation to use. But technically, you can use all any of the three equations. You just need to kind of look at what you're given and look at what you're trying to find. 
And if you're trying to find something like maximum height right here, then this, these equations might not be the right ones. If you're trying to find something like final speed, then actually you're probably going to use these equations for the first half of the problem, but then for the final half of the problem to find the final speed, you're going to have to use one of the other equations right there. All right, so problem number one, I think is, is a straightforward, good problem to start with for the final exam to get your, to get your bearings, you know, to, to get some confidence so that you can go and, and, and do all six of these problems for the final exam. All right.